third step is to smell. This is actually my favorite one and probably one of the strongest one that you will get a sense and make your decision very quickly. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with that good leather smell you associated with good leather but it's hard to come across these days so number five here will feel earthy and pleasant and I have the good example here in front of me I wish there was a better way to communicate the smell over a video but this is a leather from uh, a tannery called La Perla Azura in Italy and this leather smells amazing this is one of the best I've ever seen in my life time to time I stop by to smell this leather in the workshop during the day it's just too pleasant you take the smell and you can't miss it it's just naturally connecting to you once you see this you you see an item like this and you smell it you will know it's a five and you go down the line number three would be a leather that doesn't smell much it's a minimum smell it doesn't bother you it's not disturbing or pleasant or it doesn't smell at all some of the chrome tan leathers today um, they're intentionally done uh, to to smell not much um, some people don't like a lot like heavy smells that's why intentionally done with minimal or non smell so it should be still good um, three to four but below this scale you are gonna start sensing some chemically and petroleum additive kind of disturbing smells. I know most of you are familiar with those unpleasant smells coming from um, like low quality plastic items. That's a good sign that your leather is overcorrected or you're looking at a maybe PU fake leather of, of those sorts of cheap items, leather alternatives. So if you get that unpleasant chemically petroleum smells, that's a bad sign. That's a one or zero in your scale in the smell step.